reputation for women is critical and she got exposed on social media. Instead of owning up to it, she's going after everyone. Accountability is a woman's kryptonite. Yeah, they're biologically wide for acceptance. Turning them into social outcasts is a fate worse than death. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's so not true. Accountability is a woman's kryptonite. You think there's only women out there who can't take accountability for their actions? Have you not been watching the Vinci channel? Welcome back guys, hope you're doing fantastic. Thank you so much for tuning back in and welcome to Not How Girls Work. It's been a little while since we've made a video on this subreddit and I love it when that happens because it's gonna be a wicked video. We have a whole bunch to get through, a whole bunch of fun to be had, a whole bunch of laughs to be laughed and yeah, I'm excited. Thank you guys so much for all your ongoing support. I really appreciate it. I'm just having a great time making videos and yeah, can't complain. Hope you're doing well too. Let's jump in, do some not how girls work. Men, weight matters. Don't let the girls who said yes fool you. 90% of the girls said they don't care were lying and only said that because of the camera. It's in women's nature to lie. <laughs> Why, dude? <laughs> like, what actually makes you think that? That's what I don't understand about this sort of stuff. Like, how do these people actually start thinking like this? How is a woman more inclined to lie than a man? I don't know. Probably Probably because they're not. This is a girl. Girls have always worried about these things. A woman's value is determined by her physical appearance. Crappy but true. Before you judge, think about why someone is conditioned to behave a certain way. And the fact that they're like, oh, it's really bad, but it's true. You know, like that's actually true. A woman's value is determined by her physical appearance. No, man. <laughs> there are so many guys in the world that only care about their appearance. It's not a gender thing, man. It's a human thing. Sorry, ladies, I disagree. Fashion isn't just about feeling or looking good, but about communication of your intentions. Boots are a perfect medium. You know what you're doing. Don't be coy. Following photos will show you what I mean. Some are about showing elegant style. Others are about sex. <laughs> I genuinely don't know what to say. <laughs> like, I just don't understand. The female character. A tendency to hear imaginary voices. Replace me, shut me, weed me, worm me, wash me, check for messages, read me, clean me, drink me, walk me, straighten me, put me away, plumb us up, dust me, mend me, empty me, wind me up and feed me. I totally do that. I don't have a tendency to hear imaginary voices, but I always do think about stuff that I should be doing. I don't think that's just a female thing. Thing. I think about these signs that I saw at a flea market at least once a month. Girl, a giggle with glitter on it. Boy, a noise with dirt on it. Wait a second, what? Are they meant to be signs like, you know, here are the girl's clothes and here are the boy's clothes? Or are you actually meant to buy them? I'm so confused. <laughs> I need help in the comments. Girls who will ruin your life. One, Honda drivers. Two, no, it's fine when mad girls. Three, Jessica's. Four, white toes. Girls who sleep with Netflix on. Geminis. Nursing mages. Girls who take 45 minute showers. My favorite color is black. Girls who steal from your plate. What do they mean by white toes? And like this goes without saying, but none of those things are gonna ruin your life. Girls are like makeup that they just get used. Is that meant to be like a sad, I'm 14 and this is deep post? Like, oh, we're just like makeup makeup. We just get used. I just want to know the context here because that really makes a big difference. That could be a guy being like, oh, girls are just like makeup. Did they just get used? You know, saying it and like trying to be funny in like a really gross misogynistic way. Or it could be completely different. Either way, no. Like this comment here. Girls are like makeup that I love them and they're pretty. Yeah, there you go. Passive aggressive puker. I'll explain in a moment. And worst of all combined, the 
split is. Splitting is a behaviour of girls, young mostly, but not always, usually taught by their mothers. This is the person who talks about others in an attempt to split people apart and feel better about themselves. You know, so-and-so said this about you and I couldn't believe it. So-and-so is stuck up and she thinks she's better than us. And so it goes. This, my friends, is poison in action. These misguided gals have no end game. It's just spreading and stirring all the while believing they're innocent. It's such a common thing among girls. This is where toxicity and drama find their roots. I'll admit it's hard to deal with. They are very good at what they do. Many times they're good workers, which is even more frustrating. I can also say with certainty, there is no cure. I've tried over the years, but they can't fix what they don't believe to be true. They deny it 100% of the time. They call it helping. Boys seldom practice this. They just duke it out. Ha! <laughs> oh, somebody's had some bad experiences and never forgot about it. This is just your opinion, man. You can't let that ruin your entire idea of women. And just because you think this way doesn't mean it's right. What's up with the not so bad looking get not so bad looking? <laughs> What's up with the not so bad looking girls and their problem with shoplifting? I just don't get it. It's called being vain. I guess lol, I would think some nice guy would have no problem buying items like that for a girl. But what do I know? I must have been born too late. I feel like I have an old school type of mindset, lol. Dude, the type of nice guy that would do that would have very high expectations. And we all know that that doesn't end well. And also, and also, are you just saying that all the women who shoplift are pretty? Or that if you're a pretty girl, you must also shoplift? Also, where are you seeing these people? I've only ever seen one person shoplift and it was in Kmart. And I kid you not, they were lollipops. Like a big bag of chuppa chups. <laughs> and also, it was a guy. <laughs> Girls are supposed to be looking up to boys, not fighting to get respect. A real man is a fighter who will never let women fight. Now, because gentleman lifestyle is forgotten, girls have to fight for their rights and this is wrong. The whole history, men were fighting to protect women and times were okay. Now we're in a worse social condition than ever and picture above is a perfect example of it. Yeah, like as much as they're probably coming from a good place, it just comes off so... Like, what's the word? You can just tell that he doesn't think as much of women as he does of men, you know? Women are just this little frail thing that us men need to protect. No, man. <laughs> Why? Women are way more lucky than men. They get a lot of guys thrown at them while a man has to level up and work to find a woman and she still might reject him. Oh god, not this again. Are we on the nice guy subreddit? There are women out there that will throw themselves at men and there are men out there that will throw themselves at women. It doesn't mean that they're the people that you want to be with. It's just as hard for women, you know? The bigger the eyelash, the dumber the girl. Oh, I didn't know that was true. How does that work? <laughs> you know what? I have pretty long eyelashes. Finally, I figured out why I'm a moron. When you get older, do old people become attractive? Like when I'm 70, a 70 year old man gonna look hot? This is a real concern of mine. For women, typically yes. For men, typically no. The traits we find attractive are tied to fertility. They're holdovers from our monkey brains. And men can produce healthy offspring pretty much their entire life. Good genes don't really age. Whereas that's not the case for women. As a result, even older men are going to be attracted to younger women, whereas women are attracted to almost any age of men. These describe overall tendencies. There's way more variability within men and women than between them. Bro, what did you just say? I don't want to generalize either, but a lot of the time men do age a lot worse than women. I just don't think this is true. <laughs> and you know what? I'm not surprised. How about the hoops? Wide skirts still continue to be worn and there is but little apprehension of their going out. It having been decided that the mode is most becoming. Now ladies, by whom do you imagine the decision has been come to? Your object in dress, we presume, is to please and not to please yourself so much as male admirers. Now, you don't suppose hoop petticoats are looked upon with favour by the masculine eyesight? You surely can't imagine there is metal more attractive to a man man in a half ton of crinol crinoline crinoline than in nature's flesh and blood unsurrounded by steel armor if you wish to dissipate such fond delusion empath 
M oh, these words. A jury of your nearest male relations, whom gallantry will not deter from giving a true verdict. Or even put the question to your partner in a ballroom and see if he approves of the fashion which makes ladies unapproachable. Whether as a waltzer or a husband, a man likes a woman he can take to his arms. And how is this possible when she's entrenched in an impregnable hoop petticoat, which when he approaches, he breaks his shin against? Yeah, so apparently women only dress up to please men. But that's a very old thing, so, you know, I'm not surprised. Listen, it's gross either way, and you know what? It's time for wholesome memes. Never think you're worthless. I have no purpose in life. I'm useless. God bless whoever filled this. Amen. I was so thirsty. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Life's about the little things. Sometimes the world you know can get tossed upside down, making you feel broken and out of place. Though it may be hard to believe at first, with a little bit of help, it's possible to feel right again. Yeah, damn right. And a lot of the time, even stronger than you were before. The universe, me, the girl I was crushing on. <laughs> okay, let's just put these two together and see what happens. I think they're really made for each other. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, just bloody annihilate the like button. Subscribe if you're new and leave a comment down below what you thought. That was a wild ride. And thank you for joining me, guys. I had a wonderful time. Today's comment of the day goes to not unique and it really made me laugh. I just played with my family cat and she fell asleep on my lap and when I tried to carefully pick her up, she woke up and sank her teeth and nails into my arm and that hurt less than the first post. <laughs> oh, that really says a lot. <laughs> first of all, I hope you're okay. Second of all, why is your cat so grumpy? And third of all, I'm sorry that my videos are terrifying. Have a wonderful rest of your day guys. Have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for 64,000 subs. We're going to be at 70 soon and like that just doesn't even make sense in my head. And yeah, I really appreciate it. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow.